Right team, now how are we all? So this video has been by popular demand over the last few days and I'm not even going to edit it, okay? Because timing is of the essence. A lot of you are asking, a lot of you are asking because you want to get your hands on either the new Metcon 7 or the new Nano X1 Adventure and you just don't know which one to go for. Now, I'm going to go through them. I first of all want to say by, start by saying this is why I always need to edit my videos. I first of all want to start by saying, this is not an ad. Um, I am not getting told to say this off Nike or Reebok. I've worked with both brands in the past. I've both got, I've got both of these shoes for free. Um, and I've eventually, after today, tried the Metcon 7s because I've been trying the Nano X1s for the last few weeks. But I was at the Metcon 7 launch on Friday at WIT and I thought this is a really good video to do because a lot of you have been asking. Now, first of all, these are the shoes that I have, okay? White colorway and whatever this colorway is called, but the Nano X1 Adventure. Now, first things first, which one do you like more? I would say usually, usually, the one thing that I always find Nike do better is the, the, the way they look, okay? Now, I think both these shoes are very damn sexy, but I think for once, Reebok probably have made this shoe look nicer than the night shoe. Um, from, I just like this colorway, I think it's really, really nice, but also like when it's on your foot, when you look down, the shape of the shoe seems a little bit nicer on the Reebok shoe than the, but that's just looks, okay? That is just looks. So there's point number one. Now, the second thing that I wanna speak about, one thing that I noticed when I put the Nike mech on shoe on on sat friday for the first time it's really um it's really like rigid to your foot in the sense of like it has a natural arch which when i first put the shoe on when i was in london and i was walking around i thought it feels really weird like it has a very very strong high support here on the arch position and it really feels like it's molded to your foot if that makes sense so I found it quite weird when I was walking around with it. However, after getting used to it for a couple of days, I started to enjoy it. And one of the things that I would, what I, what I would say is, after lifting in it today, I did snatches and overhead squats. I actually really liked the feel of it. Um, notoriously, I would say on all of the Metcons and the Nanos over the last few years, and it is still the same thing, which I would say in this video too. I think lifting wise, for strength training, for squatting and deadlifting and snatching and stuff like that, I still would say the Nike Metcon is a little bit better. It just seems a little bit more flat footed and a little bit sturdier. However, however, at the same time, and this has been one of the issues, especially on the last nanos as well, I would say walking around, and I presume this relates, I haven't run in either of the shoes yet, and I'm not talking about running like 5Ks, 10Ks, I would just use running shoes for that, but I'm talking about in the middle of a wad, 200 meters, 400 meters, you might do Helen, three rounds for time, 400 meter run, 21 swings, 12 pull-ups. This feels a hell of a lot better for that, because notoriously, and I find this a lot with the Mech on six, if you wear, the Nike shoe for a, for a long period of time, I think it hurts your foot and it hurts your feet. It doesn't give you quite as much support. So, when you do, whatever you're doing, you've got to ask yourself, if people are looking here and they are more functional bodybuilders, more strength trainers or something like that, I would say the Nike Mekong might suit you a little bit more. But if you're someone who's doing a lot more volume and might be doing like workouts and wads and stuff like that, maybe this one, might be better for you, but it's very, very minimal when I say that, okay? This is all good unless you start, if you've got a running bod. It's, this would still be very good if it was a workout that's perhaps, I don't know, a salt bike and power cleans or something like that. I'm sure this would feel very good, but those are just my first impressions from the shoes. Um, today, what did I do? I did lunges, deadlifts, overhead squats, snatches. This felt really good. Um, did a workout with toes to bar, box jumps, assault bike, still felt really good. However, doing a, doing a running wad on Saturday 
not as good as perhaps the Reebok shoe. This would be better. So take what you will with that, but that is my honest advice. Like I said, I'm not getting paid to say this. I got both of the shoes for free. Um, I really like Nike, I really like Reebok. I've got work before from Reebok. I've got work before from Nike. But yeah, that is, that is it really. Um, I think one thing that Reebok have done really, really well is made the colorway and the shoe look so much sexier than normal. I think the last Nano was the worst Nano that ever was. Um, not the 10, sorry, yes, the 10. Um, one of my favorite training shoes ever is still the Nano 9, but I thought the 10s were absolutely terrible. It was really, really high platform. I didn't like it at all. These are really, really good. They've changed the game. They've went back to normal a little bit. These are very much more relatable to the Nano 9. They feel great and the colorways are much, much better this time around. These were absolutely awesome today. I was a really big fan. And normally I use lifters for snatching in. These felt really good and almost to the point where I would say good enough to use instead of a lifter. Um, so yeah, a very good shoe, both very, very good shoes. God's honest truth, I am very lucky to be in this position. I don't actually know which one I would choose. I suppose if you are someone that is debating, decide what your style of training is more suited to. If you do an endurancey stuff and there's a there could be running and wads and stuff like that, maybe go this one. If you are someone who is in a strength phase for the next few months, probably are gonna be. We're gonna go into winter and quite a lot of people are on off seasons now. This might be better shoe. Um, God, I'm out of breath. I'm gonna upload this video straight away. Um, it is literally getting filmed Monday 5.45 and I'm gonna try and upload it in 15 minutes. So that is all. Um, to be honest, you'll love both of the shoes, whichever one you get. Decide which colorway you like, decide what terrain and style that is more suited towards you, and just have a good time. Both of the shoes are absolutely amazing. That is it, give the video a like and a thumbs up. I hope that helps someone. Over and out.